Ah! <laughs> Salad is such a light meal, but it's so difficult to finish quickly. All the little leaves and stuff where you're trying to like shovel it in. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, I had salad two minutes before going live. Made a, um... Made like a lemon honey garlic uh, fish and uh, simple baked potato with sour cream and some salad. That is waiting warmed in the oven for Annika. And I just finished mine before going live, but it's hard to eat salad quickly. Potatoes and stuff you can just like shovel in your mouth but salad with all the leafy greens and all the stuff that can like fall off and everything. You're like, ah! Gonna have to come down soon. Hey, Sleepless. Hey, Monty. Yeah, it is hot as balls. Can't food chug a salad. Exactly, Listless. That's what I'm saying. It just like spills all back into the bowl and everything. You're like, no, no, this isn't working. Hey, Rictus. I think I have a box for this. Hold on. No. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. Well, I'll have to figure something out for that. Existing hurts. Yeah, it's a uh, hundred. It's literally boiling. with the humidity, yeah. Hey, copy. Did I take? It's still. Wow. Haven't packed that yet. Wait. Uh, hello? Uh, go. Oh, that's not how that works. Oh, wait, hold on. There it is. That's the third mode. <laughs> I need to take the batteries out of this, but it requires... Oh no, did I pack? No, it should be fine. Hold on. Is this gonna fit? No, I'm gonna need something smaller. Uh oh. Requires oh no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I have, I might have packed away my. My smaller. Screwdriver set. That's unfortunate. I hope the batteries don't explode. Whoo! Hey, Wimbley. Getting it done. Hold on.
<laughs> Getting it done! All my awesome little crap ass glasses. Hell yeah. Subscription, I only grow stronger! <laughs> Thanks though. Hey Vault! 19 months! Thank you. Okay, that's what does it. This doesn't change back anymore. It used to and it doesn't anymore. I can maybe fix that, but only maybe. You're grabbing toilet paper out of a box. It was my glasses, thank you. But yeah, thanks, Vault. Damn, 19 months. Like, everybody coming up on 20 months or more. It's crazy. Got people at two years. So glad I'm not moving anytime soon. Done that shit way too many times in my life. Yeah, I hear you, Rictus. Uh... I'm moving within a year, unfortunately, but that, you know, that was because uh, I didn't have too much time to pick this place. That's okay. How many times have I moved? That, like, moving as a kid counts, right? So, so then... How many places have I lived at? And one... Hold on. One, two... Two, three... Four... Five... Six... This will be my seventh place I've ever lived, so I guess six moves. Oh my god, Coffee! Damn. Any anybody else got Coffee beat? <laughs> Not that you'd want to. Coffee's a secret agent. <laughs> also, I just saw up top. I can only assume one of those was the holy grain. I'm ki I know you corrected yourself, but I'm keeping it like that. It was the holy grain. Coffee's actually a cat confirmed. I am not a cat. Poppy isn't, I suppose. Oh, sorry. First of all, hi, Wu. Second of all, I missed your comment. You absolute dongle. <laughs> hey, let's see if I can fix this. Uh... Oh. Okay, good. All right. It, it paused for a minute. I was like, not only did I not fix it, but I may have just broken the program, like froze it. Wow, it's really slow when I'm live, huh? All right, let me hit alerts here. Twitch. Okay. Yes, audio device advanced. Yeah, give me the advanced stuff. Oh, okay. That's a premium thing. Well, how do I do? Subscription. Okay, all right. Let me I'm I'm figuring this out. I believe I did sleepless. I'm I'm not really sure. Let's see that Kirby shirt. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let me. Let me, let me stop slouching so that you can't see my rolls. <laughs> I 
Uh... Okay, that didn't work. No, there's no pink copy, remember? It's the only one that doesn't exist anymore. You picked the only one. <laughs> Here, let me, let me, let me flip it. Hold on. You want red, green, blue, aqua, orange, purple, or yellow? Which one do you want? Do a little drum roll here. Whichever is closest to the rest of the shirt. So probably aqua then, because it's kind of like a blue shirt, but it's not, see this is a dark blue, but it's probably aqua. Probably the closest to, to the shirt. <laughs> see, I have a choice. They cut off these things. When this app updated, they, it got a total refresh, which is cool. But they're starting to push this premium subscription more, which like, I don't want to do that. Like this was just a free fun little thing for the lights, right? Like I don't want to pay someone like five bucks a month or whatever it is just to make my lights be more lighty. Um, So they cut it down. So I've got what, seven colors, which is fine. But they, I only have the seven colors. I'm only supposed to have five colors. So if I delete or edit any of these colors, they're gone. Now, the advantage to cutting it down to five would be I can add different colors. Like I, like I could add any color, or like I could use a hex code is basically what I'm trying to say. But I would rather have seven for you guys to pick from than five on a hex code. Because the five on a hex code are just gonna be variations of like green, blue, red anyway, so. Just make my own app. Oh, okay, yeah. I can't, I don't have the skills to do that, unfortunately. Now, I wanted to go to... Uh, aha, here it is, reaction. Okay, subscription, here we go. So let me edit this. How do I... Tell it to... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> and then what? It'll be on a random color? Wait, what? Hold on. Sure, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for now and we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna go down out of there. And I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, we're gonna do Mechanicus. Uh, some of you had recommended that to me. It showed up on copies list of the consolidated recommendations. So I think we're gonna give that a try, see how it is. I'm also trying to consolidate, uh, like ideas and brainstorming and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to do that so that after I move, I don't know. I got some, I wanna do, I wanna do some fun stuff. I have, I have several ideas for things. Was that oh no to me, Coffee? Oh no, that was to Leo, okay. I thought, I was like, oh, I got some content ideas. Uh, they're, they're pretty fun. Coffee's like, oh no. <laughs> I 
houses I lived in had electricity running through the water pipe. Yeah, you don't want to live there. You'll you'll die. Yeah, so so some of these some of these ideas are ones uh, that we have discussed. Um, top of the list is the I didn't like that food thing. So that's cool. Um, I've, I've previously talked about wanting to do one shot D&D stuff um, for like newer people or to like introduce people or things like that. Um, one, one was taken from Aaron as an idea uh, called one hour 59 minutes, which is just me trying out a new game, but making sure I'm within the threshold to return it to Steam and then giving a verdict on whether it's worth buying or not. Whether it's worth buying or refund it. I got, uh, I got casual gamer tutorials where I play games like Conan and stuff like that. But instead of doing in-depth tutorials where it's like, here's the meta, here's all the crazy optimization shit. I just approach it as a casual gamer. I'm like, yeah, you should probably put some points into vitality or you'll die. All food you review needs to be consumed through a shirt. <laughs> hey, Annika. Yeah, Wu's really into the one shot. See, I'll, when I run that Wu, I'll get you in on it for sure. I got two left. I got, uh, I got yelling at clouds. Which is just me recording whenever I rant about something. And, or, or give a summary. When I, you know, when I give those really bad summaries of video games, typically that happens with Snake. When we, when we either play a game or he like tries to explain the plot of something and then I summarize it. And he's like, yeah, kind of, but not really, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> And then I got something called, this game bugs me, which is where I just collect a bunch of, you know, all the games I play, all the bugs I come across every single time. I'll just compile those. I'll just make a compilation video and call it, this game bugs me. <laughs> and it'll just be me running into bugs and crap. Love to do a one shot with you fucking schedule though. Hey, that's several people who want to do a one shot. That's cool then. I guess that idea holds water. No, he absolutely listens to what I say, Wimbley. He uh he he listens to my summaries. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, I did a couple of the Blades in the Dark one-shots, but now I'm thinking more more 5e one-shots. And just kind of do some of those, so... Yeah, we'll see. The shirt idea also holds water. <laughs> yeah! I, um, I did see Snake's haircut. I woke up for whatever reason at like 5.30, 6 in the morning. I, I like briefly woke up and I, I, I pressed on my phone. I was like, oh, what, what time is it? And then I saw that Snake had made a post. So I tapped on it absentmindedly and saw it. And I was like, hell yeah. And I tapped like, and then I was like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Wu. That's what I was thinking. Just a few, just a few low pressure one shots for people who just want a little bit of practice or who are new to D&D, you know, stuff like that. And like, I'm out of practice in terms of like DMing, um, like particularly Dungeons and Dragons. I haven't done that since 3.5. Um, so yeah, just some, just some low pressure one shots where we just kind of play. Uh, newer people can come in, you know, people who are perhaps out of practice as well, that kind of stuff. And, uh, it's just like, whatever. If you make bad decisions or if, if 
people die or like you're not sure what kind of character you want to make just make one anyway it's a one shot so there's just it, it doesn't really matter that'd be cool snake looks clean yeah he does i'm sure he's uh i'm sure he's happy about it it's been so long he's needed one speaking of of which i need another haircut so maybe i don't know i i i, I always i hate it when my hair i hate it when my hair grows down the side and down the back so regardless, I always get them to square off the back and to same for the sides, right? And just get rid of it. Um, usually I just have them do scissors all over and just and just get things like short and then I just let it grow in and do whatever it wants. I can just kind of mess it up and away we go. Um, we need to change what? But yeah, now the last time I went, I tried something new. So the front of my hair, I didn't, I didn't uh, get them to cut it at all. The so like, the back of my hair is short, like I like it, but the front is is getting long, and like I don't really. I guess I could just like style it up or something like that. Like just take some something to hold it, you know, something like that. But anyway, it's fine for now. Uh, I could probably fix that right now. Give me a second. I think it's just uh, an alias or whatever the hell it's called. The, the thing where, yeah, like you don't have to just go bald. Yeah, all right. You guys suck. <laughs> mm, I think it's under points. What? No. Nope. Uh huh. So tonight, we're gonna uh, play Mechanicus. We'll see how that goes. Let me just shut off the music. I hope this get, I think you guys said what? This one, you can have multiple guys, but you can only have like five of them or something like that, right? Like six? Okay. They don't really die? Okay. Mechanicus. <laughs> All right. One of the five or six people is going to be named Mechanicus. It's decided. Hey, Dor. Yeah, I haven't seen you for a while. What's up? Okay, so either you guys are gonna enter into like raffles and stuff in order to be one of the people, or since there's only five or six of them, you guys are gonna come up with names for them, and if I like it, I'll pick it. And we're starting with Mick Anicus. Just how Annika typed it. Been playing a lot of squadrons? Hell yeah, man. That doesn't surprise me. I, I know you were like really into it. You had the helmet and everything. It's, it, yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start up Mechanicus. Do that. Do that. <laughs> oh. For a moment, I understood the weakness of my flesh. Do I have to? It disgusted me. 
I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day, the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither, and you will beg my kind to save you. What's new with me? Moving soon, Dor. Moving to uh, bigger, bigger space door. Even in death, I serve the on desire. Oh yeah, yeah, same city. Even we're just moving to a bigger place. far back did you have to move your moving day uh we're moving on july 9th instead of the first so a week basically but it's really good because then we'll be able to get the we'll be able to get the appliances in we'll be able to save some money because it's not on crazy day that we're moving and we'll be able to like bring precious boxes and stuff in the car it's gonna be good yeah neighborhoods less bougie um, I don't know that I'd say it's, like, better, but it, it's better for us, I guess, just because, like, we're closer to things that we actually use and need, and there's, like, some good green space, like, I, I, I will, um, it'll suck to lose the view, where you can kind of, like, look out the window and kind of, like, see everything, like, even, like, fireworks that happened recently, um, that kind of stuff, but. Thanks, Cole. Well, Dragon's Breath, you wanted to make the 11th, right, Leo? The internet's coming in on the 7th. And I imagine my desk will be something that I'm going to want to set up pretty, pretty quick. So, I, I, I'd i say it should be fine. Oh, well, that fell. Uh, no, I don't believe it's a space battle game. You're in space, I think. You're on space halls, I believe. Nah, no, no, maybe you're planet side because of the enemy. I think I know who the enemy is, so maybe that wouldn't make sense. I I'll see. Quebec City is really nice, yeah. I I've went once with Annika, and, uh... We, we rented a hotel that uh, had a balcony and like a hot tub on the balcony. It was awesome. It was very nice. Man, why, why are we hating on French people so hard? They're fine. It's bougie poor people pretending to be rich. No, not necessarily, Aaron. It's um it, it's it's really just like that this area has been like gentrified. Like it used to be a lot of like factories and stuff like that and then they just like paved over everything, did a bunch of high-rise condos, really expensive restaurants and like uh stuff like that. And that's good, right? I mean, I don't know if I'd call it good. Like, if it happens everywhere to the point that things are unaffordable for the average person, then no, by that, by that meter, it's probably not good. You can have, um, you know, like, uh, more expensive parts of the city, parts with, yeah, more expensive or, like, fancier restaurants and this and that, but 
when it when it paves over an older spot or like pushes people out that were already having a hard time affording their their current neighborhood Man, I didn't even look uh, when this opened. 40k is my favorite over fantasy, um, both because I already play a lot of fantasy stuff anyway. Um, so 40k, just like just the bullets and the the futuristic stuff, really, uh, I like it. Um, but it's also ridiculous, like how they how they make it look like a bloody church, but it's a spaceship. And like that's that's part of the ridiculousness I like. Just the crazy stylized choices and design and stuff like that. Like there's there's not a lot quite like 40k and how how hammy it is. Like unabashedly hammy, which is it, it, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. high place phenomenon that it was like call of the void or something like that <laughs> still want to see full size bane blade from first person yeah all we really got i think was uh dawn of war and stuff right it doesn't really give you the scale of the thing that's what i thought it was called leo and that, that's not specific to high places, though. I thought the Call of the Void was literally just, like, that split-second feeling you sometimes get that, like, or that people sometimes get where where you could just do stuff. Where, like, you're in traffic, right? And you're just like, I could just swerve into oncoming traffic right now. I just could. I could just do that. Or, like, yeah, you're on the edge of a cliff, and you're like, I could just, I could just jump. I could just walk off this cliff. I, I could. I thought that's what that was called. Dawn of War 1 is a lot of fun, yeah. And Dawn of War 2 for, for different reasons. Like, I I wish Dawn of War 1 had a co-op mode uh, that, that wouldn't unbalance it and stuff like that, right? Um, and Dawn of War 2 was fun because I played through with a friend. Dawn of War. <laughs> okay. I'm going here. Enable Iron Man. Skip the tutorial. Da, 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 da. Starting Blackstone. Necron HP. Necrons in battle. Let's do it. The 41st millennium. A time of darkness and war. The Imperium of Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. It fights an endless war against Xenos from without, heretics from within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperium's war fleet serve the Adeptus Mechanicus. He... he meant pus cushion. Pus cushion. Not what you're thinking. Hey, Rock. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> they are the tech priests of Mars. Guardians and reclaimers of humanity's technology, ever searching for remnants of knowledge from man's glorious past. Exploring the depths of the galaxy for worlds long lost to mankind. In the name of their machine god, they manufacture the Imperial War Machines within gigantic foundries known as Forge Worlds. Gradually, the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanica shed their human weaknesses, replacing their limbs and organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. Their leaders, the inscrutable magi, protect the Forge Worlds and explore the furthest corners of the galaxy with their cohorts of Skitari troops. It is a time of warfare. 
tragedy, and portents of doom. Across this benighted galaxy, the Adeptus Mechanicus are one of mankind's last defenses against the new Dark Age. Or perhaps they will be the ones to hasten its dawn. Oh, okay. Now we're this guy now. Also, y'all need to calm down. Stop it. This guy's name is Reditus. Wait, is Reditus the floating skull or is Reditus this dude? An echo in the new, new sphere? New sphere, Magos. An old transmission lost in the warp and only recovered now. Good read there, Rock. Read it, Tess. Yeah, I just didn't know if it was the actual guy or if it was the servo skull. No, I guess Faustinius is the guy. Is it worthy of our attention? The Great Divide torments the galaxy. The resources of the Adeptus Mechanicus are stretched thin. See, this will be cool, because, like, the Adeptus Mechanicus, I never really put too much, like, I I don't know too terribly much about them. Um, I know they, they have the machine spirit and everything like that, but I, I didn't go deep into their lore. Um, I was much more interested in, like, Tau and the Tyranids and uh, stuff like that. So, we are weaker than ever, though the Imperium at large knows it not. This represents an unknown, but possible key to victory. An opportunity to research, perhaps avert the ill fate that has befallen us. Transmission's origin is Silva Tenebris, part of the Mrs. Solaris, within Ultima Segmentum. Oh, good. Search the rolls, Redditus. Gather them. <laughs> Sorry, Woo. Different, different races and species that I know more so than, like, even Space Marines and stuff. Wow, a lot of people probably know Space Marines. But the Adeptus Mechanicus, I never went too much into. Oh, there's that classic hate on the towel. Whoop, whoop. Whoever finds this transmission and follows me here, give thanks that you will see what I have seen. But be wary, my fellow seekers of knowledge. Whatever lies beneath this world, I fear, I hope, I have awoke, I have woken it. I came to this world to investigate its ruins, but I found so much more. Terrors, yes. Threats to body and soul. But by the Omnissiah, I found such wonders. This is the last transmission of Magos Resak. He vanished while on an explorator mission to investigate Xeno structures on Silva Tenebris. Yeah, this is like, it, it's in this universe where, you know, you have like the bolter guns and they do like holy rites and everything over them. And, uh, you know, they, they put holy oils into it and things like that. And they pray for the bolters to work. And they're like, it's a miracle. They fire. It's like, they just don't know how to make them anymore. <laughs> he found something. Oh, hypothesis. Oh, this is a new guy. 
our mission on this world is to ascertain any Xenos presence and, if we find it, eliminate it as a threat to the Imperium. The opening of the Great Divide means we can call on no additional support from the Forge Worlds. We must achieve this with the troops and resources we bring with us. Benefit analysis. Peace for sector. Knowledge for mankind. Lots of potential. Lots of opportunity. An opportunity to destroy the works of the Xeno, Scavola. Not appropriate them. Themyscirin Manuscripts, verse 619. What the enemy built, let it be made asunder. For to us it will be as a house of sand and knives. Magi, we are approaching the target coordinates. Hey, that's good. Oh, uh oh. Oh. This seems not great. Uh-oh. Okay. Haha, <laughs> Darius. Yeah, I used to play back in 3rd edition? Or like 4th edition? I think they're on like, what, 8th edition now? Temperate climate, atmosphere standard breathable. My Skitari troops should be able to operate down there without trouble. Are they ready to make landfall? Soon as we're in a stable orbit, Magos. Magos? Magos? Eh. Ministratum records indicate a single colony. St. Eckhart's Hope on the surface near the Xenos ruins. No contact recorded in two centuries. Colony presumed failed. The Skitari will deploy to the surface near the ruins along with a team of tech priests under my direct command. I shall monitor them from the command throne on board. Servo Skull Reditus will serve as my eyes on the surface to make landfall at once. How if I know, Leo? I think it's a strategy. Yes, Magos. I'll set up a forward command post. Resac's transmission looked like it came from underground. We'll secure any entrances to the underground structure so your tech priests can begin the exploration. Our Agrolec sector located. This tomb reeks of stale, dusty antiquity. Its once stern architecture is littered with debris and tarnished with the patina of age. Here and there, fissures in this structure cast feeble light over cracked and tarnished metal. The tomb was once brutalist and oppressive, as if designed to crush the spirits of its inhabitants. It is no less intimidating now, but instead of evoking a merciless guiding intelligence, it speaks only of decline and of death. This place seems abandoned at first glance, but as the exploratory troops move through its hushed corridors, the ancient dust stirs and something long dead begins to take on a facsimile of life. Yeah, the, the the more I always viewed 40k as like it's already silly, but the more you go down the rabbit hole, the dumber and dumber and more ridiculous it gets. But it's all dumb and ridiculous, so who cares? It's just kind of like a, a a wild trip that's rad as hell. It, it's like it's like the fucking bard in uh, Mad Max with the, with the flame guitar just like fucking going as he's dying. It's just like, whatever, man. It's just, it's, 
it's rule of cool notched up to 9,000. Like it's, it's silly and dumb and none of it really makes sense, but who the hell cares? Not sure, just get up on its legs and fucking punch you. Huh. Going by our fragmentary information, it looks like a very tomb structure. <laughs> then the sword of the Omnissiah is ready to fall. We deploy immediately. <laughs> that secrets of this world equals zero. <laughs> I counsel caution, Magos Faustinius. Our purpose should be here to destroy the threat of the alien, not to bask in its blasphemy. Aphroisms of the Logic Saints, 7.91. In the presence of the Xenos lies the invisible miasma of corruption. Destruction is not possible for more of it, Videx. The structure is too deeply buried. And Scavola, I have no intention of plundering whatever trinkets I can from this place. all pretty fucking rad. The, expl the Explorator unit of Tech Priests is inside the tomb and ready to proceed, Magos. There's no telling what you will find. My men will hold the perimeter in case of the unexpected. It would be folly to commit our whole manpower to the unknown, especially when the potential of a moral threat exists that the Skitari are less able to withstand. I have the greatest respect for my Skitari, but they are still far from the ascension that a tech priest affords. I agree, Subdomina. I shall lead the mission in person from the command throne. Servo Skull Redditus shall be my eyes and ears on the ground. Omnissiah be praised. We're going in. The Adeptus Mechanicus are a curious breed. They explore and interact with machines they do not fully understand. Within this tutorial, you'll have to explore the interface to discover what to do. Like a true tech priest, you must experiment in order to learn. Wait, fucking what? <laughs> the tutorial is, I don't know, fucking play around with it. That is, that is so fitting of the story, like of the race. That is cool as hell. It's stupid, but cool. Oh, thanks for helping me this one time. All right, how do I, how do I move the, Oh, look at me go. Oh, shit. All right, there's enemies over there. Okay. Oh! Huh. All right. These Xenos hieroglyphs. I know of them. They are my undoers. Necrons, mysterious, ill-researched, corruptive. This could be a rare sample of the Necron language, Magos. We have barely any knowledge of it. Collecting data from this obelisk could move our understanding of the language ahead for the first time in centuries. This is the work of the alien, Magos. Codex Fulminatus 8312. Show caution and scorn in all things. Sometimes tech priests will feed back important information about what they encounter in a room. These situations will require you, our commander, to make decisions. There will be consequences, so choose wisely. Oh no, oh, I don't like that. Fuck. Oh, so they're like a switch, copy. But I guess at the same exact time? Anyway, it's fine. That's more Dark Eldar, though. Okay, examine the inscriptions on the obelisk. Destroy the obelisk. It is a monument to the alien who must fall. Check the surrounding chambers for potential dangers. Ah. Uh...
It's interesting to see how many 40k folks we have now that I'm playing this. Like, people that just have knowledge of 40k. Oh, boy. Examine the inscriptions. Secure, scourge. I don't know that I'll destroy it. Like, on the one hand, like, if I was, like, a space marine, I probably would, for the most part. Definitely. Definitely, um... Would destroy it if I was the Inquisition. Well, the non corrupt part of the Inquisition, I suppose. Examine the inscriptions in the on the obelisk. Yeah, like ah, yeah. Why don't we secure the room first and then I'll scrutinize it? Wait, also, can I can I already save? Oh, I guess not. That sucks. Oh, boy. This is my first decision, and I already don't know what to do. I'm like, ha, huh. hmm, ha. Huh. We're detecting a massive energy spike from inside the tome. tomb. Something's happening in there. Something huge. Noctilith Swords Detected, also known as Blackstone. Request collection immediate. Oh, it's squanched out some stone. As one of the tech priests kneels to get a closer look at the obelisk, it seems to react to the cohort's presence. The obelisk splits open and a powerful, painful wave of exotic energy spills out. Inside are clustered formations of a rare looking material. Aight, cool. Got me some black stone. That took longer than half a second. Apprentice Jeremiah Magos Menarius. Oh, okay. People have, and then there's there's just a bunch of servitors. What? That wasn't helpful at all. What the hell was that? Initiative advantage. Oh, okay. What is this? Canticles? Zero canticles. Guys, I don't have any canticles. I just want you to know. Okay, are we done with that? All right. Necrons. Resek did encounter them after all. No wonder he didn't make it off this planet. Every datum we have says they are as deadly as they are inhuman. Plus the check if we pack those before leaving the house. Oh, sorry. The cohort encounters resistance in the form of Xenos constructs. Not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision and coordination. Follow the established combat engagement protocols. It shall be done by the book. Exercise extreme caution. Do not charge in too heedlessly, lest the trickery of the alien be our downfall. Or the aggressive stance of the tech priests ensures they will not be outmaneuvered, but risk their running headlong into the fire of the enemy. Ah. Uh... FOR THE OMNISSIAH! Xenos form detected. Confirmed. Redditus cog cogitators now function for synthetic forms. Finally, we can study this standard construct. Necron warrior. Weak spots detected. None equals concerning. 
I wonder about the symbols emblazoned on their torsos. It must... Do not underestimate! Gauss weaponry! Highly volatile! This is true. I've heard our brothers and sisters of the Mechanicus have lost their lives trying to solve the mysteries of these Xenos weapons. Approach with caution. It is also widely known that they will self-repair, reanimate, or reconstruct themselves if left the time to do so. Wounds that would instantly kill a Skitari are the equivalent to a Class C Graze to Necrons. Okay, that's the voice. That's what I'm going to do. At the start of every fight, you must decide the location of the un your units in the field of battle. You can play only place units on the highlighted squares. Click on a square to place a unit. Okay. Wait, I only get two. Oh, oh okay. I thought I got, like like six dudes, but I guess I only get these apprentices, huh? Ah, shit. Macro stubber. Servo skull. Reveals target statistics, single target ranged attack. Okay, Necron warning. All right, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Cool, cool. To move a unit, left mouse click with the blue outline surrounding your unit. Then you can confirm the movement. To decline the movement, simply right mouse anywhere. Is there like... Cover? Yeah, I guess so. Well... You've just moved your tech priest to a source of cognition points. CPs represent the valuable information the tech priests are harvesting. There are several ways to collect CP. The fastest way is moving your tech priest close to the source of CP. There are many other ways to collect CP, so look around to find out what they are. Okay. Sure. CP are stored at the bottom of the screen in CP gauge. They're a team resource. Yes, hi. I would like to shoot this guy. You've not revealed the statistics for this target. As a result, the amount of damage dealt is unknown. Servo skulls, specialized weapons, and other skills reveal the life of an enemy. Okay. Killing Necrons isn't simple. Necrons are made of a self-repairing metal that is able to knit together dismembered limbs and gaping wounds. We call this the reanimation protocol. When a Necron is in their reanimation protocol, they're unable to fight, but will return to fighting condition soon. Dealing any amount of damage to a Necron in this protocol state will destroy them indefinitely. That's good! Wait, so can... Oh, I can, I can double move, but it'll... Okay. I see. Okay. So I'm going to move up here, collect some googies. You've gathered enough CP to be able to use a CP powered weapon. Some weapons, like the Phosphor Serpenta, Require CP to use. Look to the right hand side of each action to learn the CP cost of that action. Oh, I see. Okay. Music's pretty cool. Yeah. Is it? Is it too loud? I could probably turn it down a smidge, huh? Maybe like that. It doesn't have cover, okay. So you just have armor, shields, and dodge. Good to know. Yeah, a lot of the other Warhammer games did have cover. Bang! You've revealed the statistics of this enemy. 
Knowing your enemy's stats will greatly increase your chance of success. Servo skulls reveal HP, physical armor, and energy armor statistics. You then decide what weapon type... You then decide what weapon types, physical or energy, work best against this target. Oh, do I just win? Okay, cool. I thought I had to destroy them before they, like, got back up. Oh, Sleepless, you're really into this, huh? You're like, oh shit, it's like late o'clock, but I can't. Oh, I... The cohort's HP amount carries over from each fight within a mission. Keep this in mind when exploring a tomb and look for opportunities to repair. Also, it looks like my, my CP stuff also, it, so maybe some rooms require CP to do things? Okay. Hypothesis, formulation, sarcophagi, coffins, burial, places, structural purpose, designation, tomb. In the chambers ahead are several groups of structures like upright coffins of an unknown material. Press on and avoid distractions. Make sure you destroy any structure that looks suspicious. It is worth pausing in your advance to do harm to the Xenos abominations. Ensure you observe your surroundings carefully. Detailed pictures grabs and readings may be the key to success. I feel like I can't inspect these too much or I'll get turbo corrupted or something. I don't know. Hmm. Damn. Light it up! The tech priests open fire on the sarcophagi. Structures prove all but impermeable to normal small arms fire, but components of the strange Necron materials are stripped away and can be salvaged by the cohort for examination and repurposing. Ah, oh, that's good. Cool. I did it. After exploring the chambers for several minutes, a tile underfoot clicks. The sound of whirring energy builds up around your troops. A quick Omnispec scan reveals you're surrounded on all sides by Xenos lifeforms. Okay! Kill all enemies. Well, who gets to go first? Apprentice J Jeremiah. Who's this guy? That thing. Okay, cool. Oh, I can put servitors on the... Single... Target melee attack. They just look like they're there to get in the way of... Alright. This is probably fine. Walk, 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 walk. Pew, pew, pew! Oh, he didn't die that time. The other time he died. That time he didn't die. Uh oh. Ow. This one's going down. It didn't die either. Uh-oh. <laughs> Through pain, I find wisdom. Oh, crap. That's not good. 
What are those? Opportunity equals knowledge. Gather. Must. Obtain. Required. Garab's detect source data surfacing. No life forms detected. Area safe. Continue forward. Redditus, verify your cogitators. Then tell me what surface for Megos Resex cogitators. Scarabs of an unknown Xenos race. Synthetic, possible artificial intelligence. Once specimens gathered, AI theory equals false. Weeks of study show there are many variants of Scarab, each with their own roles within the Xenos economy and architecture. Able to build and deconstruct anything they encounter, they're able to repair other units within their species with lightning speed. Born, they are deadly in large swarms. It appears the machine spirit is with us. We've been able to access some more of Resex data that we thought was corrupt. It must be due to us recording these Xenos forms that the machine spirit has blessed us with access to these cogitator records. It's unsure why he would lock this under a synthetic proximity to encryption. Be able to call in other members of the cohort as the battle goes on. This will happen at the start of every round. Lead CP to deploy troops. I... Why what the hell would I want a servitor? Fine. Wait, that's using my CP! In Mechanicus, there are two types of units to control. Tech priests or troops. Troops are your servants and cannon fodder. Fodder? They don't have access to as many weapons and skills as tech priests. However, they are useful and shouldn't be overlooked. Okay. Bonk. When you enter melee combat in an adjacent square to an enemy, you're unable to use your ranged weapons as they're too dangerous to use at close range. Ah, oh, crap. Well, ah, I'm in melee. Fuck off. I'm gonna take more damage. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I thought that used a CP. I thought this used CP. I was like, oh, it, it's collect one. I should be using these like all the time. This is your servo skull, the skull of a faithful servant of the Omnissiah, augmented to be a useful companion. Every tech priest has their own servo skull. Servo skulls are very helpful in combat and CP collection. Select an enemy to find out its battle statistics. All right, this guy. Oh, I've taken some more damage. Oh, please don't kill me. Ah! An opportunity attack gives you a free... Oh, okay, yeah. Bonk! How come that didn't... It says collect one cognition point. Oh! I can do that or that, not both. Oh! Oh, I'm an idiot. Well... Balls. Alright, get melee. Oh, of course. That acid is going to kill me.
When servitors are hit in combat, tech priests take an interest. Quickly noting down damage angles, projectile speeds, and other useful combat information to be used later against their enemies. This is represented by gaining CP. Servitors are a very useful unit in all your missions. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. That's cool. You've killed a Necron unit with a critical hit. When you critically kill a Necron, they're unable to activate the reanimation protocols and are instantly teleported from battle. Okay, that's good. Oh, I can put another servitor down. So I can just kind of like, boom. And then I can do no damage whatsoever. Machine spirit charged. Oh, okay. So I do, ooh, I do bonus damage for some reason, for, for using the machine spirit somehow. Um, I guess that's good to go. Oh yeah, I'm still acid covered. All weapons have sacred machine spirits within them. The more you use a weapon, the more charged it becomes. When a machine spirit is charged, you'll gain a buff to the attack of that weapon. Each weapon's machine spirit will be charged at a different rate. This is shown underneath the weapon's icon. When you select the weapon, you'll see the buffs of the machine spirit within the tooltip. Well, pew pew, pew pew pew, pew 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 pew. Okay, good thing there's line of sight, cause uh, I gotta go. I'm already gonna take some heavy acid damage. I need to, ow. Yeah. Okay, good, we won. All Xenos life forms purged. Oh shit, Jeremiah is still very wounded. That's not good. Good thing we're at the end. This symbol represents a location of a significant importance to your mission. Entering these rooms brings you closer to the end of a mission. Negative signs of hostile forces. Seeking permission to proceed with data collection protocols. Confirmed. Permission authorized. Knowledge, Magos. Protocol begins. What is primary focus, sire? Knowledge of Necron forces. Numbers, defenses, locations. Any form of data on how many remain on this rock. Secondary. Source the purpose of this tomb. Why was it built? Interface devices all but eroded. There's one device that may hold answers, but Necron data looms are incomprehensible to Imperium Archaeotech. This might take a while. Idea. Magos, if I may take host of this priest, I could be of assistance. Approved. New spheric interfacing complete. Hard to decipher purpose. List of suggestions, Magos. Deconstruct device, activate switch mechanisms, learn Necron language, and return language. Later? What will it be, sire? Always so meticulous with your lists, Tech Acquisitor. Engage on Xenos mechanisms, although I detest to do so. The promises of the rewards are too great to ignore. Having to lower ourselves to the Xenos learnings may be the only way to reach the Archaeotech we seek. Wu falling asleep in his chair and making me on. Protocol updated. New spheric interference? Disconnect at once! Urged. Reset. New spheric in disconnect complete. Possible scrap code will fragment now. Sire, we have an unfavorable issue to deal with. Requesting Dominus input. 
got my coffee already for the morning, yeah? Explain! As Tech Acquisitor Scavola left suddenly, my cogitators glitched. Augmentations entered sporadic reaction protocols in a fried vital sign regitories. Unclear of full damage report. Necron device is now activated, sire. Remove yourself from the new sphere, Scavola. Reditus, report! The tomb is waking, sire. Reports from Skitari cohorts across the planet. Note that tremors vex their locals. Lost contact with the Skitari that were covering the entrance to this tomb. We can hear noises of approaching force. Improve protection protocols. Load weapons and ready for what is to come. We must face the Xenos. I wake with the turning of aeons. Stars here to burn. Life here to blossom. Is it truly time? Oh shit! This guy speaks English better than the other guys. Thrones of Mars, what was that? An omni-linguistic transmission, Magos. It seems these mute constructs are not the only inhabitants of this structure. What is this? Flesh and steel combined. A mockery of both. Their every footstep a blasphemy. What manner of galaxy is this into which I have awoken? Principal Xenos Warform sighted. Exotic energy signatures past center range. Designate Xenos Abominatus. High value target confirmed. The hunt is on. What are your orders, Magos? Cohort reaches a large chamber beneath the first layers of the Xenos ruins. Bridges stretch from balancing platform, barely holding themselves together. While rubble falls from the high walkways like bread crumbs, escaping into the abyss below. Waking up on the wrong side of the obelisk. I admire Necron's lifestyle. Fuck shit up and go to sleep, hoping it fixes itself until you wake up. <laughs> Wimbly, it's been 15 years since you last had coffee and you thought it was disgusting. Yeah, you might still think that. Hey, Gaia? Yeah, we're, um, we're trying out Mechanicus. It's a pretty fun time so far. It's, uh, it's got, um,. It's very atmospheric. Get the tech priest out of there. Contain the Xenos and return it to Castius Metellican intact. Annihilate the filth with righteous fury. Uh... I'm not sure that we could capture it right now, to be honest. I'd like to capture it. If you insist, Magos. Oh. Insects. This galaxy is infested with vermin. I think I made a mistake. Survive six rounds. This is the final battle of the tutorial. Apply what you've learned so far and strive to obtain victory. 41st millennium is a brutal place. You may lose this battle, but not the war. In Mechanicus, there are many alternate paths to discover. Hey, that's cool, but uh... 
Fuck! Oh, no. Oh, crap. I have made some bad choices. I'm just gonna pile out a bunch of servitors. There we go, perfect. Servitor, go! Wub, 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 wub. Wub, 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 wub. Oh, dear. I'm gonna go down there and get get maimed. Fair enough, Gaia. I I bought the starter kit to War Machine, but I never actually got into it. Like that was as far as I went. It just kind of didn't happen. Can I can I change the angle? I guess not, huh? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Go behind the pillar! I sailed the void for a thousand years. I fought the war in heaven. What can Oh, it's a, what is it, a destroyer? It's got a destroyer platform. That's cool. Wah, wah. I played the Iron Kingdoms exactly one time, and I'd forgotten all about it, Gaia, at that uh, convention that I went to. It was a four-hour one-shot. And I played it, but that was, what, maybe three years ago now? I couldn't tell you a damn thing about it. I probably should have fall. I, I I should have had them fall back. I, I'm realizing that now. I mean, I, I I knew that was the right decision, but I thought maybe the tutorial will let me let me do this. It didn't. Hey, Havander. Good things these guys can't move very far. It's it's. It's great. I just wore hammer everywhere in my life. Oops. Oh shit, I forgot to use the, the Scully boy. Yeah, go get me some go-go juice. Thank you. You, Servitor, be a meat shield. Keep these guys, keep this guy at bay. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, okay, that was actually good. Oh, that's cool, Havander, nice. Got some store credit with it, that, that's cool. All right, I'm throwing yet more of my meat shields over here. Go get me some points. Thank you. When does this guy go? Ooh, he goes after. Okay, uh... I'll just stay here. How dare these 
Oh, damn, Havander! That must have been a hell of a collection. That's great. Oh, he killed both of them in one go! I meant to throw... I thought that would keep him occupied for two turns. Oh, crap. Well. Which one, Savander? Man, I, I so wish that I hadn't lost my Pokemon cards in the move, my original ones. I had a freaking hollow Charizard and everything, like. I lost it the first time I moved when I was really young. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, I can't do that. So, why don't I just... And then I'll just... Cool. Oh, it happened to you too, Darius. That sucks. Alakazam, Dodrio, Electabuzz, and Jinx. I had, I had all of those except Alakazam. I didn't have Alakazam, which is, I, I would prefer that over the other three, honestly. Ah, oh, that's cool, Havander. I'm glad you got a good chunk. Uh, that's that's great. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Wait, what? I huh? Oh yeah, okay, I'm stealing it, and then I'm going over here. And now it's gone. Okay, cool. Necron you just attacked has been teleported away to somewhere far beyond our reach. In practical terms, you killed it. Okay, thanks game. Going into semi lurk rock, gotcha. Gonna follow suit, fall to get your hunt on. Hunt is in hunt showdown, or what are you? What are you hunting? Oh, monster hunter, probably. Take it easy, vault. Uh, bonk. Oh, that didn't kill it. I hope this kills it. Please kill it. Whack! That also didn't kill it. It probably did nothing, if I'm being honest. Oh. Survive three rounds. I'm working on it. Out of range, of course. Here it comes. When my fleet sails once more, vermin like you shall be strung from my prow. Damn. All right. Calm down there. Oh, here he come. Oh, oh my gosh, he moves very quickly. Did I kill it? I 
I'm gonna take a shot just to see. <laughs> it has like 39 HP. Goodbye. Hey, C7. I'm uh, I'm getting the hell out of here. This thing is dead, right? Well, sort of dead. I, I mean, I can't really... Alright. Bonk. Alright, we're gonna switch places. Oof. Darius. Not so good. Yeah, we're trying a new uh, new game, C7. It's uh, it's fun. It's been fun. All right, this servitor is gonna wait around the corner. He's got the machine spirit in him, so he's gonna he's gonna wait. I've learned my lesson. Wait, wait. I've also learned that I can do that. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, well. Oh! Do not think to challenge us. We killed our... Yeah, kind of. That's a good way to describe it, C7. It's got really good sound to it, too. Like, the OST and, like, the voice acting and stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no! I didn't like that. I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, good lord. He's gonna die. Oh, everything is bad. Okay, I just gotta survive one round. All I gotta do... Put this servitor in the way. This is my cannon fodder. Oh, he's not. This Necron's not going anywhere. You know what? Whatever. I'm going to go for it. get to do two attacks of oh. we're done now right we can just well this guy's got like 30 HP C7 I can't do anything about that Let me, let me machine spirit his ass. 
Wow. Okay, it shot my servitor. What is chicory? Good, I contained the Xenos, I guess. The cohort successfully survived the Xenos life forms. Report, Kepra. Well, we got the squad out alive, Magos. That has to count as a victory under the circumstances. We encountered a Necron war form of capability well beyond our expectations. Yes, I do not need to hold my emotional engrams. However, one battle won is not a success. We will eventually face losses on this mission. When this happens, we must press on beyond our failures to reach success. And there is something else. The reanimation. Necrons are waking up. It started when Resex stumbled on the tomb, but our arrival is accelerating the process. That obelisk may have been a form of intruder al alarm, and now the sarcophagi on the tome, or tomb are starting to open. Then we no longer enjoy the luxury of time. Whatever we do on Silva Tenebris, it must be done before the Necrons awaken completely. We do not even know yet how far the tomb complex extends. We're under the gun, then. Omnisaya preserve us if our duty is ever easy. I return sorrow and despair from my emotional cores, but I see they lack the logic to determine decision-making. Instead, I choose to quarantine them and adjust our approach. The word of the Omnisaya teaches us that when one method fails, another must be sought until all are exhausted. Then what are your orders, Mac? Skitari will explore the tomb chamber by chamber and maintain a foothold. My tech priests will be deployed to achieve crucial objectives and respond to crisis. Time may be a factor, but our mission can only be achieved with the thoroughness of a full deployment. I shall mobilize the Skitari immediately, Megos. I love that these guys are just, I am robot, but I have feelings. I put the feelings in a box so I could think. That's what he just, yeah, he just did that. He was like, ah, oh, sorrow and despair, but you know, do that for later. Opportunity detected. Leader forms of Necrons rarely, never observe. Potential of intelligence on Necrons added to some total of human knowledge. Imperative. Focus on acquiring artifacts intelligence data from... Hold your blasphemous tongue, Skivola! You counsel the abandonment of our very souls! Life of Archmagos Borassus, Appendix 9. Our only objective should be death to the alien and all his works. All else is deviance from the Omnissiah Creed. If intelligence gain equals true, then go to victory. To face an enemy unknown is to fight in the dark. Better in ignorance than in heresy. I return frustration at your conflict and choose to experience it. There will be bloodshed enough on Silver Tenebris without the Magi coming to blows. In our purpose, we are united. This is the will of the Omnissiah. And it shall be done. Yes, it shall be done. Wesley. Magos, the readings from the tomb are troubling. The Skitari have been monitoring the structure we uncovered, and what they have found gives me grave concern. Explain, Xenobiologists. The Necron construct forms are waking up. It seems Magos Resic accidentally began the process, and our intrusion into the structure hastened it. These Necron reanimation protocols are continuing in the tomb we entered, 
And from the energy spikes across the region, there are other structures yet to be uncovered. My plan for the exploration of Silva Tenebris will locate these structures and contain the constructs within. That may not be enough, Magos. I have detected a repeating pattern in the reanimation protocols. The rate the Necrons are awakening, they are speeding up. Can you be certain? The Necrons are machines. Machines act according to patterns and programs. The reanimation protocols continue to accelerate. They will fully awaken every Necron on this planet in 264 hours. Given the extent of the buried structures, that will constitute a Necron army beyond this mission's ability to contain. I see. Then our time here is limited. Strategic calculations indicate time spent deployed on missions will affect the overall number of missions we'll be able to deploy. I will send Skitari scouting parties to discover other tombs. Create forward positions for your high priority missions, sire. If the threat on Silva Tenebris is not assessed and eliminated before full reanimation is reached, we will be forced to abandon the planet. Look at the top left corner of the screen. This is the Necron Awakening Meter. This shows you how many Necron tombs have awoken on Silva Tenebris. Try and gather as much information in tech before reaching 100%. I fear they are right. I feel fear too. That is part of my humanity I have chosen to retain. But I can quarantine it in my Nero vaults and choose instead to focus on what must be done. We must choose our missions wisely. It'll not be easy. The Omnissiah did not send us here to do anything easy. The threat to humanity present on this world will be eliminated or we shall not leave. Thus, the equation is balance. It is the will of the machine god. <laughs> yeah, this is this is neat. Give my throat a workout here. This tomb is bathed in a sickly green light that serves not to illuminate, but only to make the shadows deeper. Every surface seems connected via filaments of alien light. The design here speaks of Xenos Tech heresy, forbidden knowledge, and a structure as alive and aware as everything inha as anything inhabiting it. Early exploratory readings indicate the walls are made of substances not known to the rituals of metallurgy. Metallurgy. Abstract designs carved into this substance suggest unknown regions of space mapped according to some alien understanding. The weight of such blasphemy sh slows the steps of the first troops to enter here. Heresies of knowledge are deadly enough, but it seems unlikely they're the only dangers here. Welcome to the Sestus Metallican, an Arc Mechanicus class battleship. This class of ship is one of the largest in the Imperium, and is only afforded to the Adeptus Mechanicus. From here, you'll be able to customize your tech priests and prepare for the missions ahead. You can select missions from the character portraits on the left of the screen. Before we go on a mission, we should we should inspect and equip our tech priests. Head over to the Cohort tab. Okay. Welcome to the Cohort Quarters. Here you can see all the available tech priests and troop units currently unlocked. Troop units are shown at the top of the screen. Here, you can see what skills each troop has available and all stats for each unit. Tech priests are shown in the bottom six slots. Left mouse button at tech priest to begin customization. Welcome to the tech priest customization screen. There are many ways to customize a tech priest. You can change their weapons, body augments, backpack upgrades, and more. You can upgrade your tech priest. Head to the Disciplines button near the tech priest portrait now. Mango? That is not what it says. Yeah, that was mission one. That was like tutorial mission, I guess. Wait, what did it say? Where am I? Oh, fuck. You have enough augment capacity to equip this tech priest with a weapon. You can see the capacity mount for items within its tooltip. Drag a weapon onto a slot using left mouse button. 
We'll take up one of your Tech Priest Augment Capacity slots. To gain more AC slots, upgrade your Tech Priest. Okay, how do I do that? Oh! This is the Discipline screen. From here, you can upgrade your Tech Priest using Blackstone. Each Discipline is focused on a different playstyle. Select one of the skills from one of the six Discipline skill trees now. Uh, explorators take on the quest for knowledge more than any other Discipline. They reach far into the depths of unknown space, searching for lost archaeotech, new species, and even new worlds. I don't know if you can rename them. Oh, 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 hell yeah. Yes, yes, you can. New spheric scan, reveal enemy statistics when in melee range. Troop unit gains. Troop unit gains. Plus one damage, plus four movement, plus 15 critical chance. Well, that's not me. That's the troop. Secutors are masters of man and machine. They wield... They wield the often rare trait of charisma. With their inspiring leadership, they are able to multiply... The efficiency of Skitari tenfold. Okay, cool. Tech Auxilium. Auxilium. An often overlooked discipline, the Tech Auxilium takes on tasks that other tech priests avoid. They are the oil within an engine. They keep the great Mechanicus cog running as smoothly as they can. Your next weapons... Your next weapon's attack cognition cost is reduced by two points. Oh, that's cool. Lex Mechanic. Rigorous catalogers, Lex Mechanics, compile, analyze, and run data entry tasks. They are capable of finding valuable data among indecipherable texts, maps, or other obscure forms such as enemy weakness in battle. Generate one point at the beginning of the unit's turn if the gauge is empty. Ooh, that's good. Unlike other priests, Engine Seers are found to serve on almost every Imperial planet in the galaxy, seeing to the well-being and maintenance of all things mechanical. Cleanse the target of any negative effects. Negative effects last one less turn. Okay, this is cool. And then Dominus. A Dominus is heavily trained in the art of war, using their skills to monitor and calculate highly complex battle maneuvers in the blink of an eye. Plus four range for ranged weapons. Okay, well, so, all right. So. I got one, right? In order to upgrade, you must have enough Blackstone. When you rank up, you'll gain Augment slots, skills, and body parts. This seems good. Having a diverse team is advised. However, the choice is all yours. Tech priests can be multidisciplined, meaning they can learn skills from more than one discipline. Ooh. Mango Mechanicus. Hey, what do I what do I have here? Didn't I already equip things? Okay, let's see. Single single tar target melee attack. Ah, okay. I did. I did name this Tech Priest, yes. Don't worry, I think we'll get more people later. Okay, what is this? 
Xenorite Macro Stubber. Phosphor Blast Pistol. Reveals target stats. Deals one or two energy damage to the target. What's the... Does it show the range? There's a cog cost to that. Deals two to four physical damage and acid deals one damage. So this is just a bunch of physical. Witnessing the crippling effects of this forbidding weapon on your enemy quiets the voices processing within that call out heresy, combining the raw power of ancient pattern pistols with a perilously tenuous understanding of Necron Gus technology. The justification for battlefield use to the tacticians of the Mechanicus is, co is cogent. Okay. Bang, bang. All right, I, I have done it. I wonder if I should have... Maybe I should have... An energy... Well, that doesn't do a lot of damage, though. Huh. What do we think? Plus four range. Hey, Yenry. Yeah, if I... Oh, can I do both? Can I... Really? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Huh. Reveal enemy statistics when in melee range. Avoid all opportunity attacks. Machine Spirit attacks deal plus two damage. Power field costs negative one. If no ranged weapons are equipped. Okay, so this is just... Go. Mango Jerry is canon, yes. Cognitive canisters, Colin. Cast a canticle for free. Huh. Not sure what I, what would be. I kind of like the tack auxilium. Give you physical armor and stuff. You can reveal enemy stats. Oh, that's good, Leo. Yeah, that'll get you something. Yeah, I'm doing this. And then I'm going to give the priest, uh... The goo! Pew pew, I guess? Do like a ranged attack type thing? I feel that's the not the right move though. I feel I feel like you're gonna need some melee. That 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 should be fine though. That's good. I I, I like that. Okay, what can I what can I do with Mango Jerry? Could you could you get out of the way, please? What are you doing? Color scheme.
Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, well, yeah, red and yellow are, is good enough. I like it. I appreciate that. Okay, what's in the tech tab? Oh. This is a list of technologies collected so far. You can find tech, such as weapon or items, on missions or as a reward for completing missions. See? Okay. This tutorial has taught me so much and made me not overwhelmed. That other game we tried yesterday, I ended up refunding it. Because I'm just like, eh! And it was so... I don't know. It's not that it... I had fun for the brief time that I played it, but it was just too dump you in there with nothing and like it, it wasn't engaging enough. I feel like it would have ran out of content quickly. This is a collection of weapon blueprints you've found so far. These blueprints are known as standard template construct fragments or simply STC fragments. Hi. You're here for your daily hug? You can have one free hug. A frog, if you will. Yes, come. Okay, well, you're not on camera. Don't worry about it. It is hot in here. Leave the door open for a good 10 minutes. Mechanicus Haganicus. That's you. I I named I named the tech priest uh Mango Mechanicus. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And now I'm learning about how to make how to get more weapons. I don't know, something. Here here, STC fragments for items can be implemented into your backpack slots. These give support-based skills much such as healing and damage absorbing shields and more. There are three versions of each item. Each version increases in power. Okay. Here are our troops and what level they've achieved so far. Bad. Bad level. This list shows all ship upgrades you've acquired so far. Ship upgrades affect your repair efficiency between missions. The number of tech priests you can access and so much more. Oh. These are your canticles, also known as canticles of the Omnissiah. These are prayers that can be used in game. Canticles are unlocked by completing the quests that are listed on each locked canticle. Once the quest for a canticle is complete, you're able to then take the canticle on missions and use its incredible abilities. Okay. Complete one mission without using a canticle. Two, three, yeah. Yeah. Like, no, you gotta just take the potato out and put it on the plate. Same thing for the fish. The fish is ready to eat. You just gotta put it on the plate. So I didn't, I didn't wanna, I, wrapped in foil, they stay warmer for longer. Rather than if I had to just put it on a plate and then put it in the thing. Yeah. So thank me when it's warm. Scan 24 Necrons. Well, I already feel like I've scanned some Necrons. I scanned that big guy. What are these for? Uh, these seem like powerful magic spells that I can use. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna save because they did a lot of talking. Okay, time to mission. Oh shit. Still my tenebris must burn, we must not linger. Okay. 
the killing. Sahi. I'm just saying that. Oh, you were just being a, a, a jerk, Woo. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Tech Acquisitor Scavola wishes to begin her research into the secrets of the Necrons and has asked for specimens of the en enemy to be gathered from the tomb of Acropis. Collect samples. It's easy. There's warriors and this is cool. I like this. 91 Blackstone. I'll either get a uh, target has a 50% chance to miss you with its attacks for one round. Or. Wait, do I get all of these? Single target ranged attack. Upon hitting target, turns into a cone area attack. Oh. Lector Dogmatus Vitix has requested the deployment of a sensor servitor to fumigate the tomb of Agrilek and cleanse its spiritual cor corruption. Single target ranged attack reveals target statistics, deals four to six energy. Didn't I already have this? And I think I lost it because I had something that dealt a good amount of energy damage, but it took two cognition. Horatio Claw heals two to four HP. Ooh, healing. What would be more useful? I, 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 uh, that's pretty cool, but I don't have some augments for it. I feel like a good damaging weapon along with a healing thing would be good. Hmm. Here, you choose which tech priests and troops to take on a mission. Use leftmost button to add a unit to the light tr lighter transport. Use rightmost button to remove it. Yeah. Cut your time in slice. Now. Okay. Okay, I got... Let me too. I got canticles. Uh, no, less, less, sorry. <laughs> I cost zero bucks. Well, I better bring all of them then. Okay. I called you here, Lector Dogmatus Vitix, because your knowledge of spiritual matters and the cult mechanicus will be crucial in dealing with any moral threats on Silver Tenebris. I have 543,021 works of scripture stored for rapid context topical retrieval. There is no obstacle beyond my capacity to counsel you on. Waste of resources, Vitex. Insufficient use. Go to Augmentic Bay for improvements. The Xenos tomb is revealed to us as a great hungry maw that seeks to consume our very purity. Blasphemy reeks from every corner of the tomb of Agralak. Most poetic, Lector Dogmatus. Your thoughts on how to proceed. I shall take my cues from the writings of Archmagos Veneratus Hereticus. Let the stench of corruption be swept aside by the sweet winds of faith. One of my censor servitors will cleanse the spiritual corruption with blessed incense. Then deploy one immediately. My thoughts exactly, Magos. With your assistance, the Omnissiah's work shall be done. The sensor servitor is deployed at the tomb entrance, Magos. I am ready to send it on its way. Halt, Subdomina! The sensor servitor is a delicate piece of machinery. It is ill-suited to hostile territory. Avalornians 591. Fragile indeed are the tools of the righteous. It must be escorted on its sacred duty. 
Don't be ridiculous. Every step we take in the tomb risks the lives of our personnel. If the spiritual integrity of the mission truly is at stake, Subdomina Kepra, it is worth the risk. And I assure you, it most definitely is. I've already sent a team ahead. I foresaw your emotional connection to your troops, Kepra. If you are ever to be a Dominus, I must show you how to command. My gratitude, Magos. The Xenos corruption will destroy us as surely as the guns of the enemy. Very well. His will be done. Okay. How in the hell? And also, what is that? What is that? One, two, three, four. One, two... Three, four, five. Hmm. I don't know what that means, so I'm gonna go figure it out. Menials shall be ritually chastised for this maintenance failure. It is imperative to get the servitor functioning again quickly. Neo Dogmatic 7190. If his will be done, let it be done quickly. The sensor servitor stops moving and starts belching pungent smoke. The runes of attention are blinking on its chassis, indicating several key systems require maintenance. Ah. Uh... Servitor's key systems, several key systems, perform the entire rite of refurbishment, including the incantation of seven diagnostic processes and addendum fabricatoris. I don't know. It says several key systems require maintenance. Let's perform the ritual of replacement on several key systems. Oh, fuck. Thorough repairs are made to the servitor, but it takes time the mission can ill afford. What? Okay. Warning, our presence has been detected. Oh, so I don't want to go there. That's a bad place to go. I thought maybe I could get the drop on some Necrons, but... Okay, I should have went up. All right, I'll know that for the future then. Better on a basic mission than... As you travel through each tomb, defense systems will start activating. This increases the difficulty of the mission. The longer you spend in a tomb, the harder the mission becomes. Exploring the depths of the tomb isn't without reward, there are unknown amounts of lost knowledge to be found for those willing to dig deeper. Okay. Wait, what is this? That one looks cool. A single port designed for a Necron Canoptic creature extrudes from the device. Cool. I got some Googies. Could this be a form of Xenos map room? Most perturbatory. Brown knows what blasphemous notions they had about the stars. This chamber's walls are covered in elaborate star charts, covered in extensive annotations in the Necron language, suggesting they record journeys among the stars. Take pick captures of the star maps, destroy them. Ignore them. Oh, I'm making bad decisions. Hit captures are made of the star maps and upload... Oh. Okay, cool. I think that... was cool. Oh, that froze for a second. Uh... I don't know. Like, I, I, I guess I could, uh... Explore the tomb a little bit, right? I'm not at level two yet. Okay, I'm close to level two now. That sucks. While traversing this chamber, the sensor servitor crosses part of the floor that collapses under the machine's weight. The servitor is trapped at the bottom of a shaft. Oh. Pulleys and ropes. To every problem, a solution lies in the application of tech lore. 
Thus, Farrakh Asclepian wrote, and thus we have proven. I shall meditate on this revelation. Cool. I got some more CP, but now the Necrons go first. Okay. Extra Necrons in battle. This is non-standard behavior and speaks ill of the menials whose task was to maintain this machine. Maxims of Amalanth 512. Beware the deviance of thine own tools, for the enemy finds this entrance nearby. Thereby! Nearby? Goodbye! Quite unexpectedly, a previous unused Voxcaster unit pops out of the Servitor's face panel. In a synthesized voice, it, it attempts to engage the cohort in philosophical discussion. I'm just going to examine it. We will never know who tampered with this machine. If all is right, he suffered punishment for his heresy long ago. A lengthy but comprehensive diagnostic locates an invasive element in the biological cortex that contains the servitor's operating system. A data chip inserted by an unknown person many years ago. With the chip removed, the servitor ceases its wayward communication and continues in silence. Okay, I got an Energia Enhancer. All energy attacks gain plus one energy damage for one round. And some Blackstone. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna save here. Should I do one more? What do y'all think? Should I do one more? Or should I go for the exit? Woo gives a ponderous, hmm. Evander is all like, hell yeah, get him. Risk it for the biscuit? All right. This is no good, Magos, no good at all. The Xenos corruption takes physical form in this murky fog. Can anything be done? The noisome miasma of fumes from the Xenos machinery in this area is masking the servitor's sacred incense. Purge the corruption with prayer. Live with the presence and hurry through. Scour away the corruption with flame! Sayings of Archmagos Cortico, verse 58. Prayer has power, but I cannot deny fire does too. Righteous flame scours away the miasma. The sight of sheets of flame burning away the toxic fog is indeed inspiring. Okay. Nailed it. Necrons reanimate one turn faster. Ooh. Well, we hit level three as we... Oh, this might not be good. I mean, there's only two of them, right? Oh, I almost forgot to put servitors down. That would have sucked. line these guys up so I still have room for my guys to go. I don't know what that is, but it's got health.
Okay, none of that is helpful. I can't do that. Can't do that, Dave. Oh, and I don't have enough points to do that. Wait. Eight meters. Oh, I don't know if I'm even in range of that. I don't I don't think I am. Alright. Take a step. Yes, this music is quite wub wubby. knew it's stats. Why did I do that? I didn't I didn't know I couldn't get that one. Damn it. Ah, whatever. Oh, I can't even get that one either. Okay, I can't get either of them, so whatever, I guess. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, okay. Oh, shit! A Necron came out of there. That's bad! He's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Good for him. Advance, my servitor army. Now it's Mango Jerry's turn to advance. I got a thing. I splorped him, and now he's got acid all over him. I got a bunch of blackstone. <gasps> Can I do that to all of these? Hell yeah. That is so worth it. This is some cool music. No, oh, he's dead. Get him. Bonk! Bonk again! Ow! Yeah, I, I love how that's built into the game. Like, there's supposed to be sacrificial pawns. I need to get over there. I need to get over there and scan. Oh cool, he fell over. What a fool. Bonk. Yeah, Mango Jerry's got to get over there. He'll go over and scan. Scan to bad guys. Okay. 
taking some power. I'm going away. I'm going back here again. And... Oh. Oh, there we go. Do it. Do it. There we go. Hey! More Blackstone. I need... I need more of that. He squibbed my Wibblies. Machine Spirit, go! Did I kill him? I think I killed him. <laughs> I killed him with a lowly Servitor. Um. What is that? Is that is that anything that I can scan or or do? I don't think so. Be cool if I could, but I don't I don't think so. I'm gonna go and check anyway. Nope. Okay, well, it could have been something. We don't know. Do that. Shoot him with extreme acid. And I win. The sensor servitor reaches location where the air currents through the tomb will take its sacred exudations to every corner of the tomb. The cohort guards it until its incense is fully deployed and can escort it back to the tomb entrance. Hey, I got two, uh, achievos. The sensor servitor has been delivered to the depths of the tomb, Lector Dogmatus. Its sacred incense now permeates all areas of the structure. A positive outcome, Magos. It is right and proper that you see as I do the dangers posed by the corruptive influence of the Xenos. It remains to be seen if the tomb is rendered less dangerous for our troops. At the very least, the place is less malodorous. I trust you will continue to consider the alien with the hatred and disdain they deserve, Magos. As we explore this world, remember the words of binary hierarch Gethsemor. The weak in mind will seek to understand the Xenos. The strong in mind will destroy them and bless their ignorance. Yes, blessed ignorance. Oh crap, that contributes? Oh no. Uh. New canticle unlocked. Complete one mission without using a canticle. Cant of the craft. The next physical attack will deal plus three physical damage. Hell yeah. All right. Time to upgrade Mango Mechanicus again. What is that? Oh, is that just an augment capacity that I get? Hey, Eldritch. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do... Wait, if... If no melee weapon is equipped... Oh. It's just like, shoot, 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 shoot. Unlock a unique body part specific to this discipline. Okay. What is this? This is so cool. Add plus three to HP max, add plus one energy armor. Add plus three to HP max, add plus three meters of movement. Add plus two to HP max, add plus one energy armor. Wait, this is just better. The torso is just better than the head. What? Oh, maybe it's like, cause later on you can't, like if you wanted a head thing, but how would I know? Add plus one energy damage. Hmm. This is so cool. Okay, Blackstone after upgrading, and I'll get the energy armor and the three HP. Ah, hmm. I feel like if I'm at range, I might not need that, right? Like, if I, feel, I feel like if I'm at range... Then it'll probably be fine. More shooty shooty. Gonna lurky lurk. Okay, Aldrich. Sounds good. I'd ask what you're up to, but you you lurky lurkin', so lurk on. Single target ranged attack. Reveal target statistics. Deal four to six energy damage to the target. Yeah, see that seems really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna unplug these. Wait, does it require? Yeah, it requires cognition to fire. Ooh. Well. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oops, that's, that's who I was just on. Mango Jerry. Canticle for free seems real good. What is this? Add four HP max. Add movement. Add energy armor. Add plus one to HP and crit chance. Uh, uh, hmm. Is there any way to see the crit chance currently? Oh, there we go. Critical attacks, zero. Critical chance bonus. Oh, plus ten. Here we go. So then... I feel like making Mango Jerry a physical hitter would be cool. There he is. Now, for now, until I get some slots under me, 
I, I, I feel like I need to stick with uh, a ranged weapon. Just for now. I think I can level Annika up one more time. Get a really just get a, a die protocol. Okay. This always does plus one damage, so and they'll both reveal st stats. There we are. Pew 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 pew. pew. Take it easy, Gaia. Keeping me some company alongside these fellow organisms. Very fitting for the game. I'll be catching you next time. Yeah, take it easy. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow, uh, probably with Snake. I think we're gonna do Halo. If he fixed it, I'm, I'm sure he did. But, yeah. Have a good night. Okay, what do we got now? Okay, we've got the collect Necron samples thing, and we've got whatever this is. <gasps> Ooh. Unit gains plus two damage, plus two damage until its next base attack. That sounds cool. I, I feel like I want this for Annika, though. This arc rifle seems so good. Now let's do that. Uh, yeah, we'll take these guys and everything. I'll select this canticle. It doesn't mean I'll go use it. Tech Acquisitor Scavola. I asked you on this mission because of your experience with surveying alien artifacts and organisms. And so the heretics of Stygis 8 can plunder this world for its secrets. Your assertion false. If objection, concerns, offense, go to different mission and leave you free to do as you will? A dereliction of logic, Scavola. Macarian 16-4. Watch your brother, for his sin of heresy is thy sin of tolerance. Silver Tenebrous evaluation commences. Wonders, opportunities, secrets, rare chance for discovery, intelligence on Xenos, must not fail to exploit. <laughs> The logic of your enthusiasm eludes me, Tech Acquisitor. My emotional cores return only peril to our mission personnel in the threat of the Awakening Xenos. Therefore, I am on this mission. My role equals gather intelligence, seek truth, return to human comprehension. Gather knowledge for the good of all. And how are you to go about that, Scavola? Field operations in person equals suboptimal. Sending tech priests instead equals optimal. First objective, gather field specimens for study. Location, Tome of Acropis. Commence immediately. Wesley. <laughs> I don't think it matters much if he fixed it, because Wednesday tech issue gonna happen somewhere. It is known. Hey, Rock. Welcome back. Given the reports from the Tome of Acropis, there should be plenty of samples in there for you to collect, Magos. Of course. First, you have to kill them. 
My talents equals dissection after the fact. I leave the location, identification, execution to your tech priest, Magos. I trust this will be worth the effort, Scivola. These are no mere labor servitors we are risking in these tombs. These are men and women, fellow devotees of the cult Mechanicus. Agreed, Mag. Valid point raised. Ensure human corpses are returned as well. Opportunity to study the effect of Necron technology on human flesh. Ah, yes. The killing jar. Self-preservation versus curiosity. Conflict unresolved. Desirous of knowing what purpose chamber serves. Chamber head is lined with glowing green cylinders, each pulsing with power. The air is thick and greasy, and arcs of static electricity leap from the cohort's extremities as they approach. This chamber is almost certainly extremely dangerous, but it's the only way forward. Slow and steady. The cohort succeeds in negotiating the chamber without harm, but doing so takes longer than mission parameters allow. Shortly after exiting the chamber, they begin to exhibit severe rashes, shivers, weeping sores, and unnatural expectorations, which hinder their combat effectiveness. Awesome! The Necrons have the initiative again! Now our presence is detected. Speculation! Tombs possess autonomous repair defense maintenance capabilities. Further study equals yes. Have some collected for me, Faustinius. Okay, I guess I'll acquire some beetles. Conclusi conclusion commences. Scarabs, not individual constructs, but resource of the tomb itself. Whole tomb is form of Necron construct. Commence formulation. Wondrous kaleidoscope of hypo hypotheses. With some difficulty, the cohort herd a dozen of so scarabs into a specimen vault and crammed them inside, sealing the vessel. More scarabs swarm out from a previously unseen aperture, revealing they must have a system of passageways throughout the tomb so they can be sent where needed. Okay, well, I got some bucks, so I'm happy. Commence enthusiasm. Require at all costs. One of the Necron warm war forms remains after the rest of the fallen constructs teleport away. Fades in and out of reality as if about to disappear. Necron may not be deactivated. Ensure it is destroyed. Grab the Necron for transport back to Sestus Metallican. Take sensor... Take targeted sensor readings of the Necron as it phases out. Sensor readings! Data received. Cogitating error. 404 data does not conform to known reality. Known reality correction required. Fascinating. Wesley. Does that just automatically... Oh no, it just adds two. Oh, it's a glyph. Th that one. That's the one I did last time. Give me more stuff. Okay, now this is gonna be level two. Extra Necrons. Well, I couldn't do anything more about that. Uh, what is that? Oh, wow. It gives me a bunch. There we go. I got my team of vagrants working on it. 
Didn't I start with four thingies? How come I don't have any? Aculus? Yeah, we playing some 40k. It's fun. It's like a it's like a really cleaned up version of XCOM, basically. It's nice. Oh, there is line of sight in this between multiple units, so he can't get me if I'm behind my meat shields. That's perfect. Walk my ass over there. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh. This thing's got a range of 19 meters. This is amazing. Take this. Thinking of trying the new one. Yeah, there's so many 40k games they've released. Press the end turn button. Okay, okay. Thanks for telling me, game. Good tutorial. Uh, I thought there'd be another one that would come out, but I guess not. You've just delayed this unit's turn. Delaying will move it to the end of the initiative queue. Okay, yeah. It's like Battle Brothers. Wow! Move up. Bonk. Another bonk. Ouch. No, my meat shield. At least I know your how much you've got. Bonk. Oh crap, I'm in melee. Why did I do that? Ah, whatever. Die. Okay, you're not quite dead. Great. I should have shot and then moved into melee. Anyway, give me, give me, the, give me that black stone. Pew, pew, pew! Oh wow, it's almost dead. Scarabs have entered the battlefield. Oh, and there's a Necron here. Get him! Ow! Die! Okay, he's dead. Oh crap, he can't move. I'm gonna delay him. 
Oh, I can totally hit the scare. Uh, yeah, I can hit the scarab. Wait. Acid. Oh, I killed the scarabs. Okay, see, I was much smarter that time. Wait, wait, I'll, I'll be even smarter. Go and scan. Bonk! Hell yeah. Walk on over there. Give him a bonk. Machine spirit charged. Go over here. Oh, I can't see him. Damn. Blast him! Dead. Do that. Pick this up. Walk over here. Can I seriously not? I must be able to see him. Oh no, I just won't have. Oh crap. Ah oh, crap. Ah. Oh. Wait, yes! Yes! Haha! <laughs> Wait, does this require two? Oh, it requires two. I'm still stupid. Ah, whatever. Oh, please don't go up to, le to three. Please don't go up to three. Please don't go up to three. Okay. Oh, it will though. Cause they'll, okay. This is gonna raise up to level probably three. Oh, it didn't, it only goes up by one. Nice. All right. Die then. Bonk. And we win. Circumstances evaluation confirmed disappointing. Necrons employ teleportation technology to achieve post destruction discorporation. Interrogative Where do the remains go? Fascination intensifies. Upon destruction, the Necron constructs vanish, leaving no samples to be collected. Thoroughly search the chamber for any components that might have been missed. Take pick grabs of the damage. Oh my gosh. The cohort is slowed down by the search, giving the enemy the chance to respond to their location. However, they uncover several samples of technology. All physical attacks gain plus two damage for one round. Okay. Cohort returns from the tomb, frustrated by the lack of physical samples of Necron constructs. However, the data they have gathered on the phasing out of Necron's remains... Phasing out of Necron remains is illuminating in itself. Valuable data in the present is greater than the past. Totality of human knowledge increased. Mission conclusion positive. I cannot say I support your conclusion, Scavola. Beneficial conclusion itemization follows. Necron discorporation witness. Enemy constructs destroyed, uh, less than zero. Necron combat performance evaluated. Chances of functioning Necron available for dissection increased. My emotional cores are returning sensations of frustration and resentment, and I choose to acknowledge them. The lives of my tech priests are not there to be risked for the fulfillment of your desires, Tech Inquisitor. They are there to be risked for the acquisition of intelligence, learning, and sacred knowledge. 
your understanding equals approvable. Esli. Wait, is this healing? Is that what this is? Oh, negative 40. Oh, okay, I didn't know you lost stuff for that. All right. Complete two missions without using a canticle. Next physical attack will be plus six. Nice. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going down this tree. Oh, okay, I can eventually get them all. Oh. Interesting, okay. Okay, this thing does a disgusting amount of energy damage. So does this thing. And this one's a single tar- Okay, alright, that's good. This- this'll scan it, this'll destroy it. Wait, can I upgrade my- my shitty little unit? No, I can't do anything with it. Okay, well what can I do with Mango Jerry then? Priest unit gains plus one physical armor. Yes, I would like that. Okay. I already have plus one physical armor. Wait, can I only get one? I thought... Oh, it's a... Wait. Oh, maybe it just happens in the mission. Because I think that's what happened with the other one. Okay, because this person is running into melee, I'll give them the heal. Yeah. That makes sense. What do I... What is that? <laughs> Rock. Oh, I looked into that, by the way. The animated emotes? I can't do that yet. Not for affiliates. Or at least not for me. Uh, like, they might be baiting it across, but I think partners got access to it. So, I, I did look before I went live today, and, uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't have any option for animations. I went to, like, my emotes library, and I, like, looked around and played around, and then I looked at the help article for animated emotes, and it even said right on it, like, partners will be able to blah blah blah. It didn't say anything about affiliates. So... Well, time to get to you to affiliate. Well, you see, the thing about that is, you did that. Partner. I'd love to be the first ever Twitch partner, Rock. I'm sorry, Rock. I'm bullying you. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it... I'll be partner. <laughs> I think... I think it... I think it is eventually for everyone, yes. I believe they're rolling it out to everyone eventually, but yeah, it's the, like, partners get it first, then affiliates, and so on. Um, cognition gauge max size increased by plus one. I don't remember. I, oh, I know what that is. Okay, cool. Oh, flayed ones and Necron destroyers, though. That's... I'll get rangers out of that. I don't know what to pick. We'll see. Yeah, that's true, Rock. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. And these people have nothing to say. Cool. Okay. Um, I actually think I'm going to call it here, folks. Uh, I know it's earlier, but uh, I want to get some more probably packing done. 
Um, you notice that box? If you were here at the beginning of the stream, you know you notice the box that I uh, brought in that is half full. Oh, beheaded! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'm also boiling. It is so hot in this room, and tonight, I don't know, tonight I'm just hotter than, than usual. I'm like, uh... So, yeah, I'm gonna go stand under my AC for a minute, and then I'm probably gonna continue packing up uh, kitchen stuff. I'm packing up, um, uh, like, glasses and cups and stuff. So, yeah! This was fun, though. I really like this game. It, it's clean, and it's well put together. Like, it, it's, it's easy to, like, take in and understand. Um, it's very thematic. Uh, everything is, like, strong in it. It's got some cool components. The combat is, is nice feeling. It's really cool. I like it a lot. So, um, I don't know exactly who told me to check this out first. It, it might have been Rock. I don't... It was that night we were brainstorming games. But, uh, thank you. And, yeah. I will be back tomorrow with Snackle. Uh, we will probably play Halo. Yeah, Vulp, it was, it was nice uh, having you around. I, I know sometimes work and, like, your busyness makes it so you can kind of come in and out. But, yeah, it was nice having you here for a bit. Um, tomorrow, probably Halo. Next week, assuming next Wednesday I might not be able to stream. I'm not sure about Monday and Tuesday. Um, but if I'm able to... Then we'll do some, uh, we'll do some more other side, and we'll do, and it's, uh, Tales Week. So, Tales of Symphonia and other side will be the ones. So, yeah. Until then, I will see you tomorrow, and please, I know you guys are already chill, but remain cool.